TNT UVerse Buzz. I'm Kristen Adams, and we've been celebrating the Thanksgiving season with a special one-of-a-kind tour of Plymouth Plantation here in Massachusetts. Now, when it comes to Pilgrim fashion, we all know they had a very unique style of dress. Usually it was wool or linen, very comfy actually, and the darker colors represent a person of respectability, which is why I'm wearing that. And this is something very similar to what they would wear in the 17th century. So I asked myself, Kristen, if you're gonna go to a fancy schmancy Thanksgiving dinner here in Plymouth and it's 1621, you should probably dress up. Well, in my time here at Buzz, I've worn my share of costumes, so I had plenty to choose from. But in the end, I decided to go Pilgrim. I'm ready to cook Pilgrim style. Let's go. Now, the menu was a little different back in the 17th century and didn't involve all those sweet potatoes and marshmallows you pile on your plate nowadays. In fact, historians tell us that the first Thanksgiving wasn't centered around the almighty turkey like it is today, but also included venison, fish, lobster, ducks, geese, and even swans. Tell me about the first Thanksgiving. We don't know very much about the first Thanksgiving, to be truthful. There is only one eyewitness account of that event, and the only reason that it survived was that it was captured by pirates. And do you know much about the cooking methods back then? We do. Fortunately, Plymouth Plantation is one of those museums that is a leader in food history research, and our program is about 40 years old. Hello. Laura, and how are you today? I'm wonderful. You've caught me in the middle of preparing all sorts of food for a harvest is coming and we're going to celebrate. I was just about to put these lobsters in for the pot is ready. Oh, wow. Do you know what lobsters are? I do. Yeah, just going to put them in this water. Shellfish is easy to gather in. That's a good thing to fill in the table. If you've got all those people coming, you're gonna look for something quick and easy. Go to the shore and take up shellfish. It's very easy in the 17th century. So Susanna, what are we preparing for the feast right now? These onions cut up, we'll make a sauce. We'll take the onions and fry them in some oil and then some salt and pepper, very simply done. These are peppercorns. Now this is a spice that's a common commodity from England. And you just put them in directly like that? You don't We're going to pound them. them. We're oh, going okay. to pound them in this, this mortar with a pestle. This is how the pilgrims release aggression. We also use a mortar and a pestle to make our flour. Otherwise, there is no bread at all for us. Wow, that's a lot of work. It is a, a constant occupation for us. The first Thanksgiving is a lot different than you think. There were Native people and English people joined together. They never call it a Thanksgiving. They just call it a harvest celebration or a harvest feast. Well, it's time to eat. We are all here to celebrate the harvest that has come in. Everyone sort of brought uh, something different to the table. It looks incredible. Susanna, what are we going to eat? Well, uh, there are the lobsters that we started with earlier. And then there's a dish of pompion stewed up and then mussels that we've gathered from the shore. The codfish is here and that's been fricasseed, so it was boiled first and then fried. And then a turkey. And this is a very small turkey as turkeys grow in this country. So a young small turkey we roasted up and that's going to go with the sauce of onions that we made earlier. We think the first Thanksgiving is outdoors in the cold in November and it just, it just wasn't like that. The Plymouth Colony in 1621, what we know is our harvest being gotten in enough to feed the company for a week. They continue to feast for three days, and that's what we know about it. People had to have eaten together. That's kind of where everybody gets that Thanksgiving from, is just these few sentences that are written down from history of this one time that people had to have shared meals together. So does anybody know any good jokes? Here at Plymouth Plantation? I got one. I'll start. <laughs> How much does the Mayflower weigh? A pure ton. Get it? A pure ton? Good wife. Mayflower is a 180 ton vessel. Now, no one cares for how much the ship weighs, but how much it might hold. Clearly, my jokes don't translate in 1621. All right, so this is the moment I've been waiting for, the real 
deal. I'm having a drumstick, the turkey drumstick. Here we go. It's like history in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, that about does it for this episode of AT&T U-verse Buzz. Not only did we get to explore the original setting of the first Thanksgiving, but we learned to always give thanks for what we have and to never take anything for granted. If you want to check out some Thanksgiving recipes or just get some culinary tips year-round, be sure to check out the Food Network right here on AT&T Uverse Channel 452 or in the West on 453 and in high definition on 1452. And now, ladies and gentlemen, time for one final proclamation. After much consideration, I, Kristen Adams, here to four, have decided to stay here in Plymouth Plantation in the 17th century with you fine people, with your great cooking and your sturdy sailing vessel, and where a dashing fellow by the name of John seems to have taken somewhat of a fancy to me. <laughs> So that about does it for this episode of AT&T Buzz. I'll see you guys later. Happy cooking. <laughs>